Hey guys, you're watching One and Only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Today, we are at the very southwesterly point of the city on the beach here. It was the little yellow circle on episode 325 when I asked you guys for ideas of what we've got left to do. And there were so many ideas for every single circle. It was really nice to see. That video probably has the most comments on one of my videos for at least a couple of years crazy that you guys are so involved uh, with all of the ideas and, and, and input and stuff uh, but probably one of my most favorite comments that I liked was by foreign productions and it was a little tiki bar put a little tiki bar on the on the beach I thought oh yeah that would be really cool you know somewhere I can get a nice refreshing drink on there uh, somewhere to sort of sit down on a little stall around it a little bit of shade sounds really quite good and I think we'll put it about here so it's not quite on like water level of beach sort of thing like i always imagine that when the uh when when the tide that's the word when the tide comes in i always imagine it goes up to this second line that we've got and then when it goes out it goes to there which is why i don't have any sort of um like mats and stuff down on this area because you can imagine the sort of waves coming up and the tide coming in and sort of going up to this area here so if we put it on that it's not going to get flooded now, a long time ago, oh, voice crack, <laughs> I've only just got up, like i literally just waking up. Um, a long, long time ago, I actually done a, some of you might actually remember it, um, a little series uh, called, I hit the minimize button, whoops, <laughs> it was uh, like a Paradise Island series, um, sort of like Survival Island, uh, but the island was a little bit bigger, and uh, we sort of built all sorts of stuff, it was like a little Survivor's sort of getaway and uh, we had a little tiki bar on there and i think it'd be pretty cool if i can't really remember what it was like but uh at least having a tiki bar on this world is a nice sort of throwback to that series man that was a long long time ago now though um let's just start off with these i want just like a yeah like a clay block i have no idea what i'm going to do with these blocks but these are the sort of blocks that i've i've picked out for let's turn these shaders off and i think i want Oh, and, and talking of shaders, by the way, I like my shaders, right? I think my shaders are uh, they're, they're an, a nice shader. I'll put that back there, maybe. Um, they're a nice shader, but I think they can be a little bit too bright sometimes. Now, I really struggle to find shaders because uh, this is 1.7. And in the, obviously in 1.7, we're a little bit limited on, on what we can exactly use, like what what mods we can use and stuff um but if you guys know of any shaders that are compatible with 1.7 um point 10 then let me know because i'd like to have a different range of shaders like like i like this shader because i think the water looks absolutely beautiful for it but it's really bright like it really sort of brightens everything up which is nice but sometimes doesn't quite work as well i want a really nice shader for like nighttime, and i want a really nice shader for rain and a really nice shade of fit interior. So if any of you guys can help with that, um, I would much appreciate it. I think it'd be fantastic if we can all come together for that. So I'm thinking of like a a square bar that you can get drinks on on either side. So you'd almost have like a bartender here, 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 and here. I'm not sure if I like these center ones. Yeah, I'm putting them in because obviously there's a, there is a middle point, but we might not keep those middle ones. I might just keep it like this in fact i think i already will to be fair um and then in the, in the middle here you have like some drinks or some cocktails maybe we have like a post coming up the middle or something like that okay uh, i think we're probably going to want to add at least another one of those to get the height and i think i'm going to want to have some kind of slab I don't use jungle log. I think this is the, literally the first jungle logs that we've used in the city as well, which is quite cool. Um, I think we'll just go with oak. Does that feel high enough? Just about. I think I probably want something like... Um, something like that going on. Okay, so we'll just add another log of these we're going to be building it from the ground up uh, 
so, so many to do. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, oops, that one, that one. Okay, so it sort of gives a, like a nice little arch. Now I want a mix of, I want to be able to incorporate both hay bales into this, because I think like a hay bale roof would be really nice. A little bit sort of agricultural farmy sort of esque, but I think we could make it work. But then I also think that the jungle leaves would just go really well with the jungle logs, don't they? Um, so maybe we put hay bales for like the top of it, but then on the underside, we have the jungle uh, leaves, uh, so the rain doesn't sort of go through it. Now, how are we going to do this? Do I want that side being visible? I think I do. And you know, that is such a pain that I would want that. Of course, I would want the, the way that requires us to place down <laughs> like a million blocks in order to put them down. Yeah, I think that's really cool. So let's put these along here oh in fact these could probably be the jungle one straight away couldn't they let's put a jungle square around here and then put these on here Now, I don't think I want it just to go up to, like, a boring point. So I don't go, like, up that level, then up that level. Do you know what I mean? And sort of staircase it up. I want to go up again on this level, but the one after that, we sort of make it doubly thick. So if we do this, so we can place down our hay bales easier. And the other problem that I can see is see these little corners put those two down we get this corner part now i can either do that and it looks weird from that side or i could do that and it looks weird from that side i could do that but then it just looks weird from both sides well actually that doesn't look too bad or we extend the pole up and through which i think is probably the coolest idea i think we go with that at least for this one maybe i i, I suspect that we'll have the same issue maybe a couple more layers up and we'll have to think of another way. But for the minute, I sort of like that idea. So put that like that. There. And there. How's this looking from the underside? Oh, yeah. No, I like that already. Do we do something like this as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. So we're just leaving like two hay blocks on either side. And it, it makes it not quite as, uh, as simple a simple squared roof, you know, like this. It, it, it gives a little bit of shape to it. I like that. So, next layer up. We want this to be two blocks. So, I'm actually going to go here. Like that. And then I'll go down here and just... Whoop, fill these around here. So, I'm going two blocks on this one. So, it doesn't just sort of step up. Oh, I can't, I'm stuck all the way so with this one it's going to come out like this mouse went funky then so i don't want it to be a tall roof you sort of want it to be a bit more of a streamlined roof okay now we've got this same problem like we had a minute ago with this corner like i could put that one down and that one down which I will, but then what do I do in those two corner bits? I don't know. We will figure that out <laughs> in a second. Um, or so I could even put like a, a slab there would cover that nicely. And we've got, we've already integrated the slabs in already. So that would work. And then... Not sure if I like that. Let me put them straight up there. Well, maybe I'll do it. Maybe, hang on, what if we done a little log in there? See, that could look quite cool. We'll go with this. I have no idea how it would structurally work like, like a real sort of build. 
But uh, that doesn't matter. So I think this is going to be the top level here. So we're going to place all those down on that. And... Start putting these down. Okay, now how do I want this middle part to go? Like that. I think we probably do it like that. And then put another slab there. Which is quite nice because it goes slab, log, slab, log. Yeah, slab, log, slab, log, all the way down. Can I cap these somehow? Do I put those on there? I want something on the top of that. And I don't want it to be a torch. Um, maybe just a different slab, like a darker slab, I'm thinking. Like a dark wood. These always look nice on top of pillars. Mm-hmm. I think I like that. So that's made a, uh, an interesting sort of roof shape for us here. I think that looks really cool. Really cool. Nice amount of headroom here as well. You know, it feels like nice and open. It doesn't feel like all claustrophobic and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the clay at the moment. We'll see how it goes. I, I like the clay, but I'm not sure if I'm a huge, like... Like fan of it just being plain. Uh, for the seats, do we? Go, I think we go with pistons with carpet on top. Um, if we get a block of redstone and a piston and a carpet, red, brown, or green, green. I think I go with green. So if we go with that one, that one. Nope. I'm going to go with that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Four seats on either side. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty smart. Uh, if I get an item frame... Oh, no, we don't have any arms in the item frame, though, so it's a little bit weird. See, if I put it there, it goes on that bottom half. But if I put it on there... Oh, you can't put them on carpets? Can you not put them on carpets? Okay, fair enough. How do I get rid of it? No, I think I like that, just going around there. Yeah. One, oops. Two. Three. Four. I got rid of the best then. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Th three. Four. Okay, so there's the seats around the outside. Get your cocktails, get your uh, J2Os. You can't beat a J2O, can you, on the beach? I mean, they liquid gold is what they are. Uh, I would like to do something more with these. I don't know what. Let's get some torches. Obviously, torches are like literally the perfect lighting for this kind of thing. I think we'll put the torches on like that. Like, torches just... They're, they're tiki, like, in the first place, so... It just works. And I think I want, like, little fences with torches on, like, just uh, dotted around the area as well. Little tiki torches. You imagine it sort of attracts people over. Night time on the beach. Yeah, I think that's cool. Needs some, needs a little something, something more going on around here. But for the minute, we're concentrating on the on the build itself. We'll have this go up. I don't think I want it to come through the top. Do I? No, I think I'm going to take that back away. I'm, I like it, like just like that. I think. Okay, the clay is starting to grow on me a little bit at the minute. I'm starting to just like the neutral colour that's going on. We do need a different floor in here, though. I think we're going to set it to just wooden planks in here. A little bit more of a solid floor. Set plank. Yeah, just feels feels more like it. Um, we're going to want to have now... I think I want something like this 
as some sort of support beams. Going on. Oops. Okay, I went dead silent then. <laughs> you know how hard I find it to build upside down? It's, I've always struggled with it. Okay, that's good. Maybe put a couple of torches, almost like hidden lighting up here. Like that. I want to have... Um, drinks now. All the drink stuff. Ah, maybe some bookshelves as this middle part could work. I can imagine this being like recipes for cocktails... Uh, and all that kind of stuff. I want brewing stands. I want levers. Because we're going to use levers as like the on, uh, uh, like the, the, the drinks on the tap. You know, like, like your beers mostly. I think I'll put like three there. I'll put a two and a one. We'll put like a, a, a two and a one backwards there. And... Maybe just two on that side. Just so you got different drinks going around uh, all of that. Then we'll have some brewing stands in the middle. Uh, do I want to put... Yeah, we'll put some water bottles in there. Uh, so we'll just go... What do I want? Like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll put a couple in that one. I'll put one in that one. We'll put three in that one. And we'll put two in that one. And I'm putting them in all like different ones. So they, they all look a little bit different. You see, going around there. Um, what else do we want? What else would work as a as a little tiki bar, drink, pubby, restaurant? Oh, a little furnace would be cool in here for like some grilled sandwiches or something. I don't know. It would work, but I can't. I can't really get it in. Um, oh, some vines. Like going down them. I don't think they'll spread at all, so I don't think we need to worry about, like, stringing up any areas. Oh, I think that looks sick. I might even put them around the little stumps at the top as well. Like this. Um, I don't think that they're going to spread around the corner onto the clay, will they? We'll find out, I suppose. <laughs> We'll come back here in a few episodes and just see the whole thing is just overgrown with vines. Same as I don't think that they'll spread onto the hay bales. Like, like that won't spread across there, will it? And I don't think it'll grow down there. I'm, I always get confused with, like, vine behavior, vine AI, because they always change, or they changed it a lot when this version came out. And, it, yeah, oh, that looks cool. I really like that. What else have we got? Let's keep flicking through. Jukebox, absolutely. Get some music going on. Um, maybe we put, like, the jukebox in one of... Uh, maybe... Let's, oh, oops, I didn't want to do that. Let's take that away. We'll put the jukebox on that side. And a furnace on that side. And that works. So we have a little jukebox playing some tunes. Some, some like, you know, beach tunes going on. Club classics. All that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, flower pot with, um, that going on, whatever they are, oxy eyes, um, flower pot. Nice way to just decorate up the place. We'll have like another one there, and another one there. Cactus, obviously. Oh, acacia, yeah, acacia sapling. Very summery, beachy, you know, tropical feeling. What else have we got going down here? Ladders, no glowstone nope i don't think the place needs any trap doors anywhere beacons the clay can't use hoppers in a clever way quartz is too bright those are then modded blocks um i think we've got everything that we could really use paintings item first could i put anything in item frames i don't really think so the clay has really grown on me now like having having just that sort of clay colour. I think I like that at at the bottom. 
Yeah, I don't. If we put carpets on top, I can only put carpets in the spots that aren't levers, and then it looks a little bit sort of patchy. I feel. Um, so yeah, no, I think I think we'll leave it like this. I think I'm happy with it like this. What do you guys think? Let's turn the show. I really beat. Oh yeah. Now what can we get as the background? Do we have the beach as the background for the thumbnail? We'll stand on this side. Look how bright that sand is. You see, that's the problem with this shaders. Like, it's really nice when you get like a little bit of shadow going on. Like, that's really nice. But over here, it's just like blinding. Uh, oh, can I put some sort of sign on here? I can't use banners. I don't have banners. It's 1.7. But um, is there some kind of... I don't think there's even a painting of that size, is there? Oops. Hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe. For now, we'll do that. Sort of glows up that area. All right, guys. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave the episode there. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. I think this looks pretty cool. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye!